With all the buzz surrounding the Hyperloop, you might be confused about what it is and how it works, especially because there's so many different versions of this high-speed transportation concept available right now. Hyperloop is a new mode of transportation that combines aspects of a railgun, a Concorde, and an air hockey table. It's also one of the craziest and most exciting new ideas to come along in transportation in decades. But what exactly is the Hyperloop? How does it work? What companies are working on implementing it? If you have questions about this fascinating technology, this video will answer everything you need to know about the Hyperloop. Let's get started with its basic introduction. What is a Hyperloop? A Hyperloop is a proposed mode of transportation that uses a low pressure tube to send pods of people through a partial vacuum at extremely high speeds. The pods are powered by electricity and the whole system is designed to be more efficient, cheaper to maintain, safer for passengers, and more eco-friendly than most other types of travel. The original concept behind the Hyperloop travel was first outlined by Elon Musk in a white paper published in 2013. In the document, he outlined a new mode of transportation that could send people from city to city at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour using pressurized tubes to reduce air friction. Since then, several companies came into existence to pursue the creation of the technology behind the Hyperloop. How does the Hyperloop work? At its core, Hyperloop is a way to shoot pods full of people at high speeds through a vacuum tube, similar to how pucks are accelerated in air hockey. In simple words, the Hyperloop is a proposed means of passenger and or freight transportation in which a large tube is built between two cities and regions. The tube would be built adjacent to an existing roadway, rail line, or waterway. An electromagnetic propulsion system would accelerate pods filled with people and or cargo to a predetermined speed, after which the pods would enter a partial vacuum created by the tube's design. The low pressure would significantly reduce air friction, allowing for higher speeds. At the end of the tube, the pods would slow down using air brakes and then stop in a station built adjacent to the tube. Passengers would walk to their destination from the station. Yep, just like that. The pods could be designed to carry cargo as well as people, which would help reduce traffic on the roads adjacent to the tube. The main difference between Hyperloop and high-speed trains is that instead of using regular air pressure, the tubes used in Hyperloop use vacuums so that the pods can travel at faster speeds with greater acceleration than traditional trains. Pros The Hyperloop offers several advantages over the current state of transportation technology. Number 1. Faster Travel Times while air travel is much faster than ground travel, there's a lot of time spent in airports waiting to take off and land. A Hyperloop system would allow passengers to travel between two cities in just a couple of hours. This would allow passengers to arrive at their destinations as quickly as they would arrive by car. Number 2. Cheaper Tickets Airlines spend a lot of money on operation and maintenance, which is factored into the cost of a ticket. On the other hand, a Hyperloop system would not require a lot of maintenance, which could keep ticket prices low. Number 3. Eco-Friendly The current system of transportation is not great for the environment. Cars create pollution, airplanes release greenhouse gases, and trains release large amounts of carbon monoxide. The minimum amount of energy used in the Hyperloop system would reduce carbon emissions and allow the system to be built adjacent to cities that don't currently have train lines. A quick reminder before we continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed this video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. Problems with the Hyperloop There are some issues with the Hyperloop as a concept. Some of these issues have been addressed in updated versions of the system, but others remain problematic. The issues include the high initial cost of investment, greater area of land required to accommodate the pods, and uneasy traveling experience for passengers. The passengers might feel dizzy as the pods will be traveling at quite high speeds. Moreover, there will be jostling and vibrations when the pods are moving so these may worsen the experience. Another major problem with Hyperloop is expansion issues. With the change in internal temperature and pressure inside the vacuum, the infrastructure of the system might expand or contract. It would be a huge disaster for the system if the problem is not addressed. It's one of the main reasons why the Hyperloop is still being tested and is not available for use yet. Who is building Hyperloop and its tracks? Hyperloop Transportation Technologies is a company that plans to build a Hyperloop system in the United States. 
The company has partnered with Virgin Hyperloop One, which is a company led by Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Virgin Hyperloop One is building a test track in Nevada and plans to start construction on a commercial track in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates. They recently announced that this technology will be completed and revealed by the end of this decade. Hyperloop One and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies are both working to build Hyperloop tracks between major cities so that this new and innovative technology can be open for public use as soon as possible. Where is the Hyperloop being tested? Researchers around the world are working to test versions of the Hyperloop. Elon Musk's SpaceX has built a track in Nevada and is currently testing the pods built by Musk's Tesla team. Virgin Hyperloop One is building a track in the United Arab Emirates and will test its pods there when the track is complete. And a group of Indian engineers at Hyperloop India is working to build a test track in that country. How much does a Hyperloop cost to build? The best way to estimate how much it would cost to build the Hyperloop would be to look at the cost of building its individual parts of the system. The Los Angeles to San Francisco Hyperloop project is expected to cost $6 billion. If a Hyperloop is constructed to carry passengers, it would cost around $4 billion, but if it's designed to carry freight along with passengers, it would cost an additional $3 billion. As for how much tickets would cost, it was revealed by Musk that the tickets are going to be cheaper and quite affordable. The ticket cost for his version from LA to the San Francisco Hyperloop would be around $20 only. Will it be successful? The success rate of the Hyperloop system depends on a number of things. The first is whether engineers are able to solve the issues listed above, such as cost and land use, and build a system that is safe and efficient. The second is whether the public is willing to use the Hyperloop system. Because it is a new form of transportation, it'll take time for people to get used to, especially if it's a high-speed system. However, it is known for a fact that if this project becomes successful, it would be a great advancement in the world of transportation. What do you think of the Hyperloop? Will you be using it in the future? Share your views with us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to Made Well Finder so that we can keep making such amazing videos for you. Thanks for watching.